In this chapter, we won't focus on learning about ADF, Azure Synapse, or a Databricks. Instead, we will primarily explore the main features of this platform and understand what Snowflake slash Snowpark offers to achieve similar goals. If those goals can be achieved using Snowflake slash Snowpark, we will understand how it can be achieved. And if it cannot be achieved, is there any workaround available to accomplish them using Snowflake slash Snowpark? Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this everything about Snowpark playlist for true data professionals and data engineers like you. And in this episode, episode 10, we will discuss the key strengths and challenges with ADF, Azure Synapse, Databricks versus Snowflake slash Snowpark. We have already finished 9 episodes in this playlist. We are going to discuss many different topics related to Snowpark which is covered in this 12 part series. You can pause the video, review the topic, jump to a specific episode if that interests you. Links for all the videos can be found in the description section below or above in the info card. Let's talk about Azure Data Factory key features and capabilities. Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based data integration and transformation services provided by Azure Cloud. It streamlines data collection process with inbuilt processes. If you want to connect and transform data without writing any piece of code, you should embrace Azure Data Factory. In a nutshell, it is a code-free visual environment, fast and easy, scalable and serverless service, 90 plus built-in connector and growing, pay-as-you-go pricing model, built-in kit and CI-CD support, and many more features. You can also integrate Azure Data Factory with Spark by calling Databricks notebooks, or you can also call stored procedures to write a complex logic. However, it does not allow you to customize your data pipeline beyond its no-code capabilities. In case if you are looking for more flexibility while working with data, you must embrace Azure Synapse Analytics. Now let's understand Azure Synapse Analytic features. Azure ADF and Azure Synapse both have the same data integration engine under the hood. And Microsoft sells this platform calling it Unified Analytics Platform as it can perform data exploration, data warehousing, big data analytics and machine learning tasks. If we try to look into its feature, it offers serverless and dedicated options. It allows code-free hybrid data integration. It is deeply integrated with Apache Spark. It allows log and telemetry analytics. It supports choice of language like T-SQL, K-SQL, Python, Scala, Spark SQL, and .NET. And it also supports real-time Microsoft Azure Synapse Analytics is an expensive solution. And you have to learn a lot before you could get cost under control and budget them appropriately. Some people say the pricing is pretty competitive, but only when you pay upfront. If you opt for pay-as-you-go model, it is not as competitive as you expect it to be. Here is a pricing chart. As discussed in our last episode, it is hard to understand its pricing model as it supports different kinds of technologies under the hood and allow us to run different workloads and you have to get certain level of expertise before you really understand and pick the right model as per your pricing expectation. Let's talk about Databricks. Databricks position itself as more of a data lake than a data warehouse solution. Thus, the emphasis is more on use cases such as streaming, machine learning, and data science-based analytics. Databricks is delivered as SaaS and can run on AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. This is the feature list. It provides a collaborative workspace which can support Python, Scala, and DFS command. It has a very good integration with Apache Spark. It supports MLflow, Delta Lake, and Lakehouse libraries and architecture. It can manage all kinds of data engineering workload. It also supports data science and machine learning workloads. Very good at streaming analytics. It has data visualization and dashboarding features, and it can be achieved very simply using your notebooks. It can auto scale through configuration, and it is highly performant. It provides a secure and governed environment for your data engineering or a machine learning workload and it also supports automated data pipeline. It has pretty much everything for any data engineering team and that's why it is called a unified platform. We have already discussed about its pricing in the previous chapter, chapter 9. We are not going to cover it in this lesson. So where does Snowpark slash Snowflake stand in relation to these features? 
In many Azure based data development scenarios, all three components Azure Data Factory, Synapse Analytics, and Azure Databricks are used in conjunction. Azure Data Factory is primarily utilized for data onboarding, where data is ingested and transferred through ADF activities. Data exploration, on the other hand, is typically performed using Synapse Analytics, which provides a comprehensive tools for data exploration and analysis. For complex data transformation, Azure Databricks instances are leveraged in conjunction with ADF or Synapse Analytics. Together, these three components, ADF, Synapse Analytics, and Azure Databricks, form a robust ecosystem that enables seamless end-to-end -end data development and analytics process in Azure ecosystem. However, they are very centric towards Azure. There are several important features that are currently not available in Snowflake, which means they cannot be accomplished using Snowpark either. These features include data integration from external sources. Snowflake lacks ability to integrate data directly from external sources like RDBMS or API services. Snowflake does not provide support for integrity constraint, primary keys and foreign keys. Custom file format processing is also a challenge in Snowflake as Snowflake does not offer flexibility to process custom file formats. Snowflake has limitation when it comes to handling custom and complex data type, which is very much possible in Apache Spark. Snowflake restrict field from storing data larger than 16 MB per field. Snowflake has a limitation on the size of a binary files restricting them to 8 MB. It may change in the future, but with the current version of Snowflake, 16 MB and 8 MB are the limitation for non-binary and binary data types. Snowflake's time travel feature is limited to maximum 90 days, preventing access to historical data beyond that time frame. Snowflake lacks built-in capabilities for automated pipeline using CI-CD practices and has limited integration with version control system like Git. Snowflake does not support triggers. We surely know that Snowflake Snowpark is not a code-free tool, neither it has a drag-drop capabilities. Does it make Snowflake or Snowpark a weak candidate? Certainly not. I have seen many complex ADF pipelines and they call Databricks notebook or a stored procedure where a complex logic is wrapped under the hood and ADF pipelines are used merely as an orchestration tool. And if that is the reality, a tool like a Snowpark can almost do everything for your real life project. You can write a Snowpark in Python or Java or Scala, any one of these three programming languages. They are very popular programming languages and include different kind of libraries to solve your day-to-day -day data challenges. Connect to any data source or process any file outside Snowflake sandbox environment and achieve your goal beyond six file format that is supported by Snowflake as on today. Orchestration using any popular tool like Apache Airflow or even use dbt cloud or using stream and task. Yes, complex data type is not supported along with field larger than 16 MB and binary files having more than 8 MB, but it can be processed using stage location plus your local sandbox by writing your Snowpark or a Python code. Time travel longer than 90 days can also be achieved by integrating object storage and purging your data there. This can also be done using Snowpark or Python connector. You can also automate your CI-CD pipeline using Git and GitHub Action or a similar feature in other version control system. Snowflake fully support ANSI 2003 SQL standard and rich SQL library for all your need and they can also be invoked from Snowpark APIs. Snowflake also provides Snowpark optimized virtual warehouses for your large machine learning workload. We have covered all the key features of Azure Data Factory, Azure Synapse Analytics, Databricks Data Platform, and we have also discussed whether those features supported by ADF, Synapse Analytics, and Databricks can be built using Snowflake slash Snowpark. Unlike my previous episode, I understand that this chapter has taken a very different approach placing more emphasis on comparative analysis rather than providing demonstration with Snowpark or Azure Data Factory or Synapse Analytics or Databricks Data Platform. I assume you have gained a sufficient understanding on the fundamental strength of these tools and how Snowpark could potentially replace them in near future. Additionally, you have a clearer understanding of what is feasible and what may not be possible in a Snowflake slash Snowpark environment. Maybe the feature which are not feasible now might be possible in near future. Thanks for watching this episode, episode 10. In our upcoming chapter, chapter 11, we will talk about Apache Spark to Snowpark migration path, a very interesting episode of this playlist. So don't forget to watch it. And yes, 
If you have learned something valuable from this episode, don't forget to press on the like button and share with other data engineers and Snowflake developers. Happy learning and keep growing.